let us start with another sample for more advanced usage of functions so I call this one as 0 to for now and in this case I would like to see function expressions or literals so let me have a couple of buttons first I put type equal to button value equal to show message and I can say on click I would like to call something like this function that is f1 so that is going to be the name of the function I would like to execute so let us start with the script here and now variable f1 equal to function so that is the name of the function I'm going to sorry f1 is the name of a variable which essentially contains a function inside it it contains the definition so f1 contains the definition and we need to have a semicolon here and now all I would like to say is alert this is a message so this is how it is going to look like so assigning a particular anonymous function definition to a variable becomes a function expression so I click on this and now I get the message so similarly I can have other expressions as well like I can have a function with parameter say comma b and again at the same time I can have the sum to be shown for them so I can say something like a plus b dot to string and now I can have another button which essentially says show sum and I would like to execute the function 2 by sending values to 10 and 20 so let me execute this again and I click on show sum and now you can see I got sum as well and now let us have another function and in this case I would like to have multiple arguments so which means I may not know how many number of arguments I may send so I would like to say something like total sum in this case and the name of the function is going to be f3 and 30 and 40 and 50 so I may not know how many number of values I may be sending if such is the case I will be using the arguments array so first of all I declare s equal to 0 and for variable i equal to 0 i less than the built-in arguments array dot length i plus plus so as I mentioned earlier arguments array is a built-in which contains all the parameters which have been sent to this particular function during execution and all of those values will be stored in the form of an array so that array is nothing but arguments and I can find the length of it and now I can say s plus equal to arguments of i so I am just getting each of those values into the sum and then finally alert it using total sum equal to plus s dot to string there you go I got 150 so similarly the function expressions which actually return values so I can have a particular function which accepts two values and which essentially calculates something out of it and finally returns that particular value so I can have a button which can say show difference and I can say I am going to call f4 with two values 50 comma 10 so which means I am going to execute f4 which is this function but this function is actually returning a value so as it is returning a value I need to get hold of it right now as it is going to be part of on click all I would like to use is alert so which means whatever this function is returning I would like to alert it so I can have something like this and then I can actually click on this 
and then the moment I click on show difference you can see I got 40 so this is how the function expressions can look like